this. I, I, I think uh, Santa Clara might be considerably better off next year. It's a hunch. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for gathering here today to acknowledge the long-awaited marriage between Bucky the Bronco and Big Oil Betty. As you all know, these two have been together for decades. What was at first a handful of undisclosed investments soon grew into something much bigger, love. The couple has finally decided to publicly disclose their private devotions to each other. As we know, a marriage involves the sharings of hopes and dreams, for Bucky, he aspires to instill in his students a lifelong dedication to building a more just, humane, and sustainable world. So naturally, he is a perfect match for Big Oil Betty, who embodies values such as greed, inequality, and a complete disregard for the environment. Now, would you both like to recite your vows? Bucky, you first. <laughs> Big Oil Betty, I know sometimes what I say at work here at Santa Clara University isn't always supportive of our relationship. But know this, there will always be a place in my investment portfolio for you. Well said, Bucky. Betty? Bucky, your long-standing devotion has been, in a word, profitable. I never imagined that the most sustainable campus in all of California would be getting down on one knee for me. Like, this seriously doesn't make any sense. But I pledge to hold my bottom line close to my heart, a lump of coal which burns for you. Very sweet, very sweet. Now, before I declare this investor and investee, invest investee forever into financial matrimony. If anyone objects to this marriage, uh, speak now or forever hold your peace. I object. Representing 98.5% of the world's scientists in agreement with the evidence of human-caused climate change, it is unacceptable for Bucky to support the industry that is Big Oil Betty. Watching you marry Betty is like sticking a flaming oil bear into my heart. <laughs> and I too object. As a refugee from the Maldives Islands, I've seen my family's home slowly drown to rising sea levels. You can make your investments on dry land, but my ancestral lands are now underwater. I too object. As a member of the future generations, I demand the right to exist. I live in a bright future without fossil fuels. It's clean, it's green, and it's beautiful. If you marry Big Oil Betty, I will never be conceived. I object as a financial analyst, renewable energies are the fastest growing sector and soon to be more profitable than fossil fuels. How can you bury, marry Betty when you can invest in true love with solar power Sally? We, the student body, object. You ask us to lead lives with conscience, competence, and compassion, but you practice the opposite. Betty, get your oily little hands off my Bronco. Yeah. Don't listen to them, Bucky. I'm not as moody as my oil prices might suggest. I'm not as destructive as the others say. You won't ever find anyone as old, exploitative, or immoral as I am. Together, we can squeeze the world so much wealth. <laughs> Bucky, she's not the girl for you! Divest your heart and ditch this dirty dame! Come away with me and we can cre create the sustainable future you've always imagined! <laughs> Bucky, what do you have to say? How could I be so blind? <laughs> Big Oil Betty's booksome bushels of cash distracted me from her ruthlessness. Betty, I die best from you. <laughs> Solar power, Sally. Your goodness radiates with all the glory of the sun. I know your devotion will never lack energy or fall to the fickleness of circumstance. You've electrified me. <laughs> Please be my bride. Of course, Bucky! Thanks everyone for coming. <laughs> Divest Santa Clara!
We're Fossil Free SCU, and we're here trying to show the uh, what we think should be happening at our university. We think we should be divesting from fossil fuels for all of the reasons that were brought up just uh, just recently. <laughs> all these different voices coming up, and um, yeah, this is our little presentation. <laughs> Thanks for coming.